it's a strap that you put around your waist. Goes across your um your body. It has a buckle and they help you if you're in real bad crash and you can't get hurt. The woman that was a strict safety belt wearer bought a new car and her webbing pulled out like this, like it's supposed to, but she wasn't aware of how the pendulum works and how it would stop her in a collision. So she took the car back into the dealer and said, I can't drive this car without the seatbelt working. When she got it back, it was the same way. Well, this happened three times. She was so aggravated, she asked to see the service manager. Because he would know the most about it. Well, she called the service manager and said, look at this seatbelt. I can't wear it like this, and you're just not fixing it. And the service manager said, lady, there's nothing we can do. They're all broken. So even he didn't realize how they're supposed to work, and which, which makes us realize what a, uh, a massive job we have and let people understand how they actually work and, and that they will work if they're used properly. As the retractor is sitting in the car, it's sitting in this position, and the pendulum here is hanging free. And as you see the belt, it just pulls out freely. So when you go to put it on, it pulls out. When you go to move, it pulls out. But should you come to a sudden stop, the inertia will move this pendulum, which will lock this belt and hold you in the seat. The seat belt is when you put it on and it would save more life. Which which do you think is better, getting killed or getting a little stomach ache? I think getting a stomach ache is worse and is better because if you die, then you say goodbye-bye to your life. Well, actually, the belt, the way it comes across your torso, it comes across the areas that are the strongest and the best equipped to take those loads. They can take those loads much better than your skull or your face or other parts of you that aren't going to be restrained can. You distribute those across your torso, which would be the strongest part of your body, then you have the best chance of surviving. You had to stop really quick. Yeah. What would happen if I didn't have one on, though, and I stopped real quick? Fly through the whip belt. Windshield. Yeah. Windshield. And, and you might hit the traffic light. What, flying through the windshield? Might. Well, when the car is involved in an accident, the first collision obviously is whatever hits another car or barrier. Or, but once that happens, things inside the vehicle start to move, and they're also going to collide, be it the uh, passengers with each other or with other parts of the car. If you have your safety belt on, you reduce the chances of the second collision. Let's say the light is red. They um, drive, they stop short. The the um, child, if it doesn't have a seat belt on, they'll go flying out the window and they'll get ran over by another car. Uh, would that just happen to children, or do you think that would happen to adults? Adults, too. Most people are injured in accidents because they don't stay in the vehicle. They don't stay in their space. If you have your safety belt on, then you will stay in your space. And if the vehicle maintains its integrity as it will, if it's designed according to standards, then the safety belt will keep you safe. Um, there's, um... A red light ahead, and there's a, a truck in front of them, and a bus in back of them, and the bus didn't stop in time, and they, and they squish the um, car and into the truck. The headrest is, is very important, especially in rear end collisions, but after you hit backward with such force, you're going to bounce forward again, and the belt will keep you from bouncing forward out of, your, out of the spot where it's safest for you to stay. It's also safer for the passengers in the front seat, for the, for the rear seat passengers to have their seat belts on because in the event of a collision, the weight of, the, of a body in the back seat coming forward can come with such force that it can injure someone in the front seat even when they do have their belt on. So it's important for all passengers to wear their belt, including rear seat passengers. We've heard a lot about airbags. Are they going to eliminate the need for safety belts? No, they certainly won't. Airbags are only effective in half of the, the crashes that take place. They're not effective in rear-end collisions or side collisions. They don't really hold the occupant in its, in, in its seat. You still need the, the lap belt. Actually, airbags only replace the shoulder belt. You still need the, the, the lap portion of the safety belt with them. Drew, 
He had the spokes right here. And he had cut off the seat belts. They don't like to wear them because they, they think it's not comfortable. They probably think they're good drivers or something. They won't get into an accident. They're lazy and they forget. Maybe they think like that they never can get destroyed, like they have 200 lives. They think it's dumb and childish to put the things on. I've heard a lot of stories about that in the newspaper. Right now we have seat belts that are, are safe. We have strict government compliance standards that we certify all of our seatbelt components to. They have to meet all the strength tests. We pull and we push them and we beat them up and we put them through life cycle and we spray them with salt and we do everything to make sure they're strong and they'll live. Now, in addition to that, we're making them comfortable. So not only are they the safest they can be, they'll be the most comfortable they can be too. What about people who don't wear safety belts? You should go in, into jail for maybe like a day, a day and a half, something like two days. The guy pulls up next to you and he's got his wife in the car and two kids in the back seat and none of them have their belts on. When I see that, it just still amazes me that that people don't realize the danger that they're putting themselves and their family, and especially when I see it with children. All these people would need to do is see one film of, of a simulated accident where we had mannequins in, and I'm sure that they would be convinced to wear their safety belts and to put them on their children also. The people who make the car didn't put the um, seat belts in there for nothing. They put them in there so you could wear them and be safe. What do you say to your mom and dad when they get into the car? Put your seatbelts on. You'll be safer. Will you? How much safe? A lot. Please fasten your seatbelts. Please fasten your seatbelts. Thank you.